Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is OJ James Bush Jr. This here is OJ B. Cook. Today we're taking a trip over to the state where my family resides from. Good old great state of Louisiana. We will hook up a good old jambalaya. A jambalaya. Les bon temps roulé. So what we gonna need? We got some shrimp, got some rice, some green onion, uh, purple onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, got some uh, garlic cloves, got some parsley, got some andouille sausage, celery, crushed uh, Saint Marjano tomato, got some chicken stock, and then assorted seasonings and whatnot that we go hook up as we go along, and I'll be sure to explain. And uh, we're just gonna get right into it, man. No, no, we ain't gonna waste no time. We ain't gonna play with them today. We ain't, ain't gonna play with nobody today. As always, come on with me. All right, good people. As always, we're going to start off chopping up these good old vegetables. We'll make quick work of these. We got ourselves a green onion uh, just for garnishment. We got ourselves a red bell pepper. We'll snatch the cap about that boy. Pete cap man. And then we're just going to slice this up uh, into some, you know, small pieces to go into our uh, to our mixture. I did about half of a uh, bell pepper. These are large bell peppers, so I did half a green, half a red. As you can see, chop that out like so. There you go. My skin is getting better. Watch the fingers. Fingers intact. And you're going to use two big stalks of celery. Oh, that was satisfying right there. Yeah. Chop that up real nice like. I used a, a half of a large onion, purple onion, as you can see, my favorite onion. If you've been watching the channel, you know this. It will chop that bowl up real quick. Here we go. Vegetables ready. On to the shrimp. Get it with a little salt. Put your hair top. A little garlic powder. Lots of garlic powder action. You never hurt nobody. A little ground pepper out. Pepper boy. Pepper. Of course cayenne, but that's optional. But you know me. It's going in. And we got some good old Creole seasoning just to keep everything copacetic. Use whatever Creole seasoning of your choosing. Tona Sattris, you know, whatever. Slap your mama. Whatever your jam is, if you get shrimp with a little olive oil, and let your fingers go. Get that nice and acquainted. I chopped up some uh, some sausage, about a pound of sausage. I didn't boil y'all with that. You know what I mean? The sausage. And we're going to brine that up real good. Like so. Cool. And then once we get those uh, to the desired brown, you know, that you're looking for, you're going to spoon those out, leaving beh behind all those good greasy drippings you know, throw them shrimp right on up in there now you could throw a little olive oil in there but cook down uh, without the olive oil uh, just perfectly no problems and we're not going to leave these in here a ton of time you about a minute and a half or so on each side real quick flip them get them on up out of there leaving all that shrimpy goodness behind got rid of those and now we're going to throw in a little olive oil before we add our veggies a little bit of All right, work that around like so. And then we go throw in our veggies. You just want to saute these on down until they get, you know, translucent, translucent, can't talk, translucent-ish. You know, we go season as we go. I typically season on all layers and levels, you know what I mean? You want to make sure you get that uh, taste and flavor profile all the way through your dish. Uh, you know me, I'm a heavy hand of seasoning. You know, adjust it uh, for your own taste and preference, you know, at your home. Let that simmer. Simmer down now. Simmer. Throw in a little minced garlic for your hair top. Mix that around. Let everything get nice and acquainted. Let those aromatics hit your face. And then we go throw in about 14 ounces of uh, crushed tomatoes. Start those in real quick. And then we got a, a teaspoon of oregano. Put that in there like so. And then we got a teaspoon of dry thyme as well in there. Go mix that up. Again, we build, we build on layers, man. Layers. Some, some gumbo file filling filling f-i-l-e with the accent on the end not sure how that's pronounced even though it's been in my life all my life a little bit more seasoning I'm, i tasted it somewhere in the point here but i wasn't i wasn't satisfied with what we was at 
Ooh, little black pepper up. Never hurt nobody. A little Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Oh, the tablespoon of that. Not too much. A dash, if you will. Throw our sauces back in. Let them all get back in the mix. Now we go throw in, or now at, at this point I threw in uh, two and a half cups of chicken broth. You can go in and throw in three cups because I have to double back later on and add like a half a cup. And the reason why I ended up adding more is because my rice didn't cook and get as tender as I wanted it to. Oh, 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 flip it, flip it, run it back. There you go, get it back in there. And uh, you know, so make sure that you know not only do you add the appropriate amount of broth, got a little salt going into. Make sure you add the appropriate amount of broth, but make sure that you get your simmer, up, you know, down right. You don't want to simmer too too fast because you're letting a couple things take place simultaneously. One, you're letting the rice cook and get to the desired level of tenderness, but you're also letting all of that, you know, just deliciousness get soaked up into that rice and become a full-blown dish. It was at this point I added my shrimp back because you know shrimp they cooked already already and you don't want them in you know getting overcooked. So be careful when you add your shrimp back into the mixture. And you know you see me adding the chicken broth because I realized at this point my rice wasn't tender enough. And, you know some people like their rice a little bit more firm. I don't like that. I don't like no crunchy rice. I like a nice tender rice. You know what I mean? And so we just let this sum back a little bit more. And now we in the game, people. Yeah, we're coming together now. Come together right now. Eee, the guys looking at beautiful footage. Summer, summer time. We done though. We done killed the fire, we just letting it chill. Yeah, time to go plate this thing on up. You see it? Ooh. Do a few uh, green onions on top, a little fresh parsley, you know, for your hair top, just for garnishment. I gotta tell y'all, man, the visual on this does not do it justice. This came together, man. I put the house on this. You know what I mean? My Louisiana roots. Put them all on this. And I know you want to bite. Yes, you do. All right, good people. Moment of truth. Time to test it out. See what it do. I got no adjustments. Came out fire. You can add some chicken to it if you want to. Same process pretty much. We gonna do one more bite for the road. Mm. Mm -hmm. 